lava shack. What is that? Hi besties. So welcome to a new video. Today's is gonna be quite different to other things I've done um, because I don't know if you can see. You can see. Look at that. Mm. So a few months ago on TikTok, Iranian sour treats became like a viral thing and everyone was trying this, Lava Shack, with like the syrup thingy and um, what are they called? It's called Zeresh and Farsi. I don't know what it's called in English, but like the red berries and stuff. And they would have it as like a challenge, whatever. Thorn. All of this literally came an hour ago from Iran, directly from Iran, and I want to try all of it. So obviously I'm very familiar with these treats, but some of them are actually new. Like I've never tried these ones before. My mouth, I'm salivating. I've been salivating since this box opened and I'm so excited. But Lava Shack is pretty much dried fruits and they roll it into like a fruit roll up type of situation and you can either buy it like this or like some come in like a candy form where you can like unwrap it classy ones these though these are the real deal i've never had a green one before apparently this is kiwi but like hold on look at that so this is apparently kiwi you can see them there and there then we have this one I don't know what it is. It looks like it might be also Zeresh, but it's like kind of yellow. We have the classic Zeresh ones and then a bunch of other ones. So this is Lava Shack. I want to try the green one today because I've never had it before. These two. This is called Qarqurut. So Qarqurut is... How do you explain it? I don't know how to explain it. Hold on. What is root? Is one of the byproducts of milk. Oh. Um, it is popular because of its very sour taste and it has a brown color. The Iranian edible is usually eaten with cash and they are delicious combination together. Great. Anyway. Everything here is pretty much dried fruits and they're just assembled in different ways. So these this is lava shack and look how big it is it's like honestly it's a carpet of its own Woo! the smell so that also apparently is like a byproduct of milk and stuff but they're all pretty much not bad for you everything is kind of healthy actually that helps a lot with osteoporosis i just saw on google these are all fruits so i don't think anything is bad for you maybe your blood pressure will drop when you eat them because they're so sour then these are just like i think like plums and cherries and stuff that have been like dried up and it has that syrup inside that also makes it like super sour mahmulot solmos i don't know what that means look at that like <laughs> this is like so beaten up but that's what's giving me extra hope that it's extra yummy this oh my god i have to show you hold on Look at that. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. This is pretty much like... What is that? Is that cherries? I think it's cherries. And it has the juice. And then this one is also similar. Oh. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This is also like a cherry as well. Thorn! Let's try it all together. I'm gonna start with this one because she's cute and small and classy. My hands are so sticky from like unwrapping everything. They were all in like bubble wrap and tape and all of that just so they don't leak. Because I think if this, any of this leaks in your suitcase, you're done. So this one was apparently from the airport in Iran so look at that I don't know what the fruit is though mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I think it was a plum oh god yum it's not too sour 
it's fab. I brought different spoons to try everything. This is not bad. It's not very, very sour, but it is so nice and fresh. I tried the red ones on top, now I wanna try the black ones under. Hold on. So good. This is actually more fresh and less sour, but it's such a good snack. Delicioso. Should we go in order of like what I predict would be like the sourness level? Cause this is level 100. No way. Okay, so this was the first one. Next I'm gonna try the green lava shack because I feel like it won't be as intense as the cherries down there. I don't know what they're called. So, Lava Shack, you have plastic on both sides and you have, it's a whole project having Lava Shack. You have to peel the plastic off of one side and peel it off of the other. Um, it's a whole school project, but this one has an easier opening. Okay. Got it. So this is the green Lava Shack. It's apparently kiwi. Let's try. It's more sour than I thought it would be, but it's so nice. It actually just tastes like a dry kiwi, but like 10 kiwis in like one bite. Should I do the whole? Okay. I'm gonna be here for a minute. Okay, that was a lot more sour than I thought it was gonna be. Yum, but oh my God, that was really sour. I think, I'm, I haven't tried these yet, but I feel like this is a lot more sour than those are. Ooh, I can only have like one bite, I can't have more. I like Lava Shack. Obviously, it's supposed to be sour. Like, I love it when it's sour. But I like it as a combination of sweet and sour. This was straight up sour. But if you're into sour things, get the Kiwi Lava Shack. That was my first time trying it. It's crazy. Oh, my God. So next is the... Whatever this is. Like a baby cherry and it has some syrup in the bottom. great lovely that's exactly what i expected honestly wow i also expected it to be a bit sweet i don't know why everything is just only sour okay next one is also i'm not double dipping okay i have different spoons this is the other cherry one Okay, the smaller cherry is more sour than the bigger cherry. But towards the end of the bigger cherry, when you bite into it to take the seed out, it got extra sour. I sweat when something is too sour and now I'm starting to feel really warm. Oh my god. Okay, I'm scared of the next one. The next one is Gavo Root. Literally, it's just brown bricks. And I'm just gonna have this one, the one that's stuck to the lid because, hold on. Mm. Oh my God. Okay, I, I can't wait. So I know Lava Shack is usually like everyone's favorite thing, whatever. I always loved Gargurut the most because I would take like the tiniest ones and I would like snack on it for a while. This is all I'm gonna try right now, literally just like the tiniest, tiniest little speck. Hmm. <laughs> this is always number one. This is always the best. 
I think because these were so sour, this didn't come across as sour at all. It actually was like kind of sweet. But oh my god, I miss that flavor and I miss the texture. I miss everything about it. While I was having it, it reminded me that when I used to eat these, like a lot of them, my tongue at some point would cut. Like I would start bleeding from my tongue because it was so sour and I would have so much of it. But either my taste buds have changed or it's just because these were so sour that this was like mid-sour. Wait, let's have another one. Hold on. No, she's still sour. She's definitely still sour. But these guys. So my camera overheated, but that was all of the different sour treats that I had. I think there was another one which was similar to the cherries, but the the container was like so destroyed. I was too scared to open it. But yeah, that's everything. And I am happy. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.